slavery, really. Just you better take care of your family. So but when you have the necessary true, resources, yeah. once you're already a multimillionaire or in the multi thousands of dollars, yeah. you're already able to invest in other black or other black successful That's businesses. True. So don't run that, oh, we got to work with the Caucasian. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm an so, entrepreneur, so I got to do business with them. I got to set the table. Nigga, you ain't got to set the table with nobody. Let me you know ask how many you black this. entrepreneurs is? Let me ask you this. Are you willing to come over to my channel when you go on your uh, your uh, your spree, you know, and deal with this? Well, Be yeah, I'm about to start yeah, I'm about to start firing back. That's why I was calling you. Because I'm gonna fire I'm 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 going to different channels because people they, they try to be very self they gotta be very selfish and they try to keep everything on Baba T V and Sinai TV and that's what's Sinai. I said, you know, this is this is the buzz about the community. We gotta distribute our information equally. So yesterday night I was on the Wapi and Assassin, because that was a family night, and we jumped on Young Pharaoh. So I'm going to jump, yeah, I want to jump on your channel, but the only way I'm going to jump on your channel is you got to do two things for me. You have to be 100% extremely respectful towards the elder Dr. Malachi. You're, even if whatever you believe, keep That's it to yourself easy. when you're on the air with me. That's easy. Um, yeah, because, um, yeah, it's, at the end of the day, whether people say he's guilty or innocent, to me, it's, if you feel that, if anybody feels that he's guilty, I mean, there's no point of you constantly repeating it. According to you, as a people who, you know, people who call themselves these are perfected bystanders who, who are the, against a child molestation, according to you, justice has been served. The man's doing 135 years in prison. He's 71 years no old. He's not like he's going to live that. So you won already. So what's the point of keep constantly bringing up his name? Right. Oh, this this is my up? thing. This is my thing with the situation, right? Um, me and Sinetta, we at odds and been at odds for some years now. You know, uh, polite, I really have nothing personal against him, but I didn't like the fact that he came out and attacked the Hebrew Israelites like that and then tried to use those camps up there in New York as propaganda against all the Israelite camps out there, you know, because everybody yeah. ain't. ISUPK or GMS and all of them. So that's when I started attacking him and dealing with him. And the only reason I ever talked about York is because he deified him and did all of that and stuff. So when you came out, I was like, uh oh, the true heir to the throne is here. This is bloodline. You you claim succession the way you did. So when he said what he like, he never met York and all of that, I was like, oh, he didn't totally fucked up. And now, Prince I know how to think about it. Polite, you know, see, I didn't really know. I, I knew about polite in the community because polite wasn't in our community. To the Scottish community, polite is shit to them niggas. In our community, polite ain't shit. That's why he ain't in our community. Right. Because he wanted to be, he, the way he is in the Scottish community is the attitude he came with in the Wabi Nation. So if you are a Hebrew of any form of sex, you can respect knowing that y'all have an organization at this order in your organization. There's order to who teaches and who doesn't teach. There's order to how to become a teacher and how to be able to teach the people. And Polite was always a shiny nigga. The way he is now. He was always trying to put our Wapi and Garb on, which we hold sacred to us. Just as he first always hold their Garb sacred to them. You put our holy Garb on, but you want to desecrate it by putting the white man's peace on there. That's the biggest issue he used to have is rocking the Versace. He was like, nigga, that's a Greek, that's a one, that's a Greek demon. That's not even a Greek god, if anything. That's a, <laughs> that's a Caucasian demon. The Versace, the Medusa head. And you rocking that like that's cool. That that symbolizes the stealing of souls. That's not what we teach. If you're going to rock something and you want to rock your gold and shit, put a pharaoh on or some shit. You yeah. know what I mean? Put a lion on. Put, you know, there's so many other different symbols to utilize. And you, he brands, I mean, it's like almost like he's a promoter for Versace. The amount, it's like he doesn't even mix it up with other different brands like Gucci and Louis. It's just straight Versace fucking everything. And it's just like, to me, he know who I am. And that's why that video, if you pay it very close attention, I want you to make a video pointing this stuff out before we do our video. Um, that and I'm gonna have you watch and repost your shit definitely. But um, yeah, you look at him. He he's trying, man. You swear this? You swear I was a Muslim woman? The way this the way this nigga's trying so hard not to look at me. This nigga's looking down at the phone at the iPad. He was doing absolutely nothing. Mm -hmm. Then I touch his arm and he waves his hand to the back of the crowd like there was somebody over there. There was nobody in there. There was two th three brothers in the room with us. There was Sinead, which is one. There was another old elder um, brother who helped sign out of a promo. He's an elder, old man, so he ain't your security. And it was that young brother who ain't your security. 
So this nigga's waving at the securities in the fucking room. I'm like, who the fuck is this nigga waving at? But me, he's talking about discipline, but I'm trying to make, I'm maintaining my respect from going in on your ass. Why? Because all the fucking lies that he has told, the conscious community only fuck with him based on Dr. York. That's how he blew up. That's how he got in it. He, so, he, he came in with the full, this guy, the full black and gold dashiki with the unks all over it, and wapping on the crown, talking about Dr. York, Dr. York, Dr. York. And everybody knew Dr. York is yeah. one of the biggest heavyweights in the goddamn nation. So yeah. whether people get sick, guilty, love him or hate him, nobody's going to dispute that Dr. York is a hell of a teacher, period. Well, you know, even when he was in the school of the Hebrew Israelites, the Hebrew Israelites was fucking with him in the fucking 80s when we was coming hard on the Israelites. Y'all remember them days. So... Polite utilized that, and now he wants to bomb it because he's trying to take off new covenant. And if you saw his explanation, if you're the teacher and the creator and the founder of new covenant, how can, how is it that you're stumbling over the explanation of new covenant? If you actually truly listen to this explanation and Google the big words he's using, subsequently, conclusion, all this shit doesn't mean anything. Conclusion means end. Subsequently, like maybe. So he puts big words. And when you stack it up with his sentence, it don't mean you said a whole lot of bullshit. New does not mean primordial waters. He's trying to get that from from the um Egyptian. from the ancient Semitic, and they yeah. weren't referring to new, new. They was referring to none. There's a difference between new and none. If you look at the ancient Semitic languages, none is a in with a dot over the top of it. It's a hard in. None and new. They're two different things. That's why I said no, it's not new. But he's gonna say it is. So I was like, okay, cool. But you want to tell me I don't have discipline? You know what I'm saying? So I'm having discipline by not smacking the shit out of your ass, by running around like you me. Really even running around like he's me. <laughs> That's how I looked at it. I was like, who the fuck is this guy? I saw his was like, polite. Then I remembered him from D.C. We was up in D.C. And um, and he, we allowed him to get on the stage. as a, um, we, we, You know, we were Masons as well, so we allowed him to get on the stage. But he said on the video, I was about to feel heavy leading the large wind. Dr. York was writing me letters. When? Dr. York couldn't write letters for seven years. What the fuck are you talking about? They cut off all his communication for seven years, and we had a list of ten people. That was family only. So when was he writing you? Then he want to say he's dating my sister. My sister, you know, my sister, I don't know what the fuck. I don't know if that's true or not. I ain't never seen him together. But even if you are, it's not like Dr. York is here to sanction that. It's not like it's a blessing to you, like, here's my daughter. It's like, okay, I'm, I'm fucking Dr. York's daughter. Okay, what the fuck does that mean? And I've got children that's not on the path, plenty of them. So, what is he on me? So, his, how he tried to put it out there is like, he the shit. And now he's trying to run from me. Because every time I call, so I know, I'm like, yo, son, put me on with this man. Put me on with this man. Nah, 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 nah. Because I never trying to protect him. That's how yeah. I never know. I would rip his ass off. When it comes to, see, he can run that shit on the public because the public don't know Nuwapu. So, he keeps staying on the, notice he stays on Dr. York's religion attacks to the, to the public. But he won't go into what we teach to the public because he don't know what we teach. We wouldn't let him be a teacher because he wasn't good enough. He would teach the language class because he was decent with the language. And he would teach, um, he would be in the lodge. And he was, um, I think he was, like, he was a decent rank in the lodge, but he wasn't a worshipful master and a master mason. So he was a clown. But I'm def- that's why I'm about to direct all my fire is going at polite because that's what I want. I'm, I'm, I'm going to rip his head off because he's disrespectful. And I wasn't going to attack him even after being, you know, I was in the videos. I wasn't even going to attack him. What made me decide to attack him was his video he put up on Hip Hop Media. So I know there's other channels, the Hip Hop Media channel. But he's talking about African people. And this nigga, and so I never asked him, he says, do you agree with black people getting wealthy and moving out the hood? And moving to the, and he said he does agree with that. He said, because he don't want to live around the dogs. And I said, well, and he explains black people Watch the video. He explains, and it's, not, it's not even no misconstruction. You ain't got to play it back. He says it clearly. He explains black people as dogs. And he says every dog genetically has wolf, a wolf gene inside them just waiting to come out to attack. And that's why he don't want to put his child and his daughter around the hood. But nigga, ain't you the leader? So if you're the black leader, then you the nigga supposed to change that shit. What are you talking about? What kind of coonery is this? If you're the black leader, it is your duty your responsibility to come in the community and change the community in which you live. This nigga literally said, fuck the community he's from. That's literally what he said on the video. So my respect level for him, like I was respecting him at least as trying to do something, just keeps dropping. It just keeps going down. And then I see how he's using the Black Panther Party for publicity. He don't give a fuck about the Black Panther Party. He's not into that shit like that. Flat ain't on the front lines like that. 
Ian is dedicated to Niggas. Polite is using them because they get the TV, they get the news, they get the media. Same way he used um, Ron Artest, World Peace, to get on Breakfast Club, he's using Black Panther Party to get on the TV. So he'll pretend like he's the leader of the Black Panther Party some days, but then other days he's a new covenant. So he's, a, he's, a, he's, a, he's good at some great marketing strategies, but he moves like a Caucasian. He's been working with them too much. He's starting to move like them and go against his own community, which we can't respect. Even in the Wapi Nation, we have a we have a face of a, a natural respect for other organizations, including all Hebrews like that. Only so I'm coming at Captain Zoria because they did it disrespect. You violate that contract, then we have a problem. Then when he slammed the Yahweh and Yahweh on the phone, when I was on the phone with Azoria, then I was like, okay, I'm dealing with a different type of Negro. That's a new breed out here. So now I'm going to have to put you down. <laughs> you know what I mean? You got to put a, an animal get wild. You got to put him down. You got to remind him. You saw what I'm saying, my brother? Yeah. Well, I'm going to just say this. It's two platforms that if you most definitely go on, it's going to cause a lot of, what the hell? I'm one of them, because I've been banging and doing my thing. The other night, he was going to try to set me up for me and you to go against each other, whatever, I guess. I don't know. But Sarnetta and Polite know that I'm a thorn in their side. And if you pop up on my channel, believe me, everybody in the conscious community and Polite them is going, they going to be watching. And I can give you my word as a man. I can give you my word as a man. Listen, I can give you my word as a man that I'm going to allow you to use that platform to do what you got to do. I'm not going to try to hinder you. I might just ask some questions based off of what you say. I don't even want to talk that much. Just like you just got through talking, I'm going to give you the mic. I just, as a watchman and somebody listening to and having the ability because I'm there to ask you a question, I might stop you for a second and say can you go into more detail about that or are you willing and that's all i would do you can use my platform to lunch whatever the that's hell you want to do. do i was going to definitely use i was going to definitely use your platform to lie like i use a new I'm locking platform i use a new lot chat for young pharaoh so another platform i use it at the launch at capital zoria your platform also utilizes life for polite. Therefore, the reason being of jumping around, because I know there's a lot of these niggas they say exclusive, is because at the end of the day, you make money off of YouTube. So if you want our people to progress as a people, the first thing that you gotta do is you gotta if you're a leader or you're getting attention, you know what I mean, it's your duty to say, Okay, well let me go ahead and jump around. He he's there's really none of that shit. Because one thing that me and you do see out of high is is on the integration. The integration between all the communities. But the main reason why people don't want to integrate with the Wapians is not nothing to do with Dr. York, it has to do with what we teach. They know majority of these religious groups or non-religious groups, comedics, everything. So with that doctrine, it becomes a lot of people are, um, and I don't know about you, but I'm saying a lot of people become afraid of it because they're afraid to either lose their faith or not. Because the Wapians, we kind of touch on a religious aspect and then we scientific. We take it on every level. And we done taught everything so we know everybody's shit. So then if you were Hebrew Israelite, I can propagate to you and you can it's a lot of niggas that used to be Hebrew Israelites that's new obvious. It's a lot of niggas used to be nations, but we just took everybody's people because we knew their doctrine to be able to format it in the odd aspect of making our information understandable. And that's why a lot of people don't wanna rock with it. But me, as long as as long as you can give me uh the the hundred percent respect as far as the elder doctor York, that was one of the things I was asking. And the other thing I was asking is sometime during that video you got to shout out Free Dr. York. You do that, we in business. Well, I can give you my word on that. You know. You know. That's, that's all. That's all I have. Because as, as a man, I believe in repentance. So even if he did do something, if he if he been in solitary confinement, this and that, and he repented, then, I mean, even my God give a people an opportunity to repent. So I can't hate on that. So, those two things I can do, I ain't, I ain't got no problem with that. You know. Yeah, but when you acknowledge repentance, you also have to acknowledge the right in its festing form. I mean, you also have to look at, okay, there's a possibility for, for the people who's having the thought. There's a possibility that Dr. Malachi Zio could have done this. At the same time, there's a possibility that the white man has done a good and pulled a fucking sheep over everybody's face well, and got us shooting at each other. Well, yeah, more than that. I would say. You gotta remember, at the very end,
the Dr. York, people try to remember Dr. York in the 90s, but at the very close to the end of Dr. York's career in 2002 before his arrest, he was on 1,000% unification. We was inviting Kylie Muhammad to come down. He was coming down. Al Sharpton had brought a big group of people. Jesse Jackson brought a big group of people. Uh, my father assisted Wesley Snipes with the Blade movie. If you look it up, Amon Raw Productions, Blade and my father both started that company together. Erica Badu, Jesse Child was performing on the land. James Ingram came down. It was We was bringing unification for real. And we was trying to communicate with Farrakhan to get him to host the Million Man March on our land. So you got to remember that. Dr. Yo, if you actually waited, Wait on both sides, say, the chances of Dr. York being a molester can be a 50-50 for you. I don't know, that's your, that's your perspective based on what you studied. But then you have to say, the chance of him being a target for the government. Don't, this includes the religion. This includes the science, this includes the Bible. Just the works, as a, as a leader. That, that's a hell of a, that's a big ass drop. You know what I'm saying? That makes him yeah. a government priority. Well, Cause we, I remember Dr. York existed since Malcolm X, he was teaching at the same time as Unalaj Muhammad. And he, he's one of the leaders that made it through every era living and slipped through. You know what I mean? And stayed loyal without having the Jews funded him and, you know, all this bogus stuff come out with Farrakhan and stuff. He's one of the niggas that stayed true to the game. At the same time, was still able to multitude and show progress. Nobody was really showing progress in the 90s. Everybody was just running their mouth. Well, if nothing else, free Dr. York so he could tell us the stuff that he can answer for his crimes to the community or whatever. If they supposed to be crimes and stuff, with him well, locked you up, to, we, you say that, I'm you just say saying. That, I'm not expecting you to say a lecture. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not I'm, we're not talking like I said when we talk over there. My whole thing, just with saying that, is if Doctor York get free, then the world can talk to him. We can't talk to him behind bars. So you free him. Well, actually, else to and the thing about this, and you can mention this on your channel, you can. If somebody had a respectful message or a respectful question. We record, if you go to the Washington channel, we have audio of Dr. York two weeks ago talking. He teaches, that's why, that's why the Rockman keeps saying, when the gets so emotional about it, it's because that shit becomes a pain to us because it's like, yo, this is our either spiritual father, our leader, our preacher, whatever you want to call him. And at 71 years old, got sick and dying in prison, this man is still teaching from prison. Is that, I mean, so if you say Dr. York was making all about the money, et cetera, he's not making a dime right now. He's not making no money. They don't even allow him to have a commissary over $2,000. So he can't even get to, you know, as a rich man would be treated in prison. He don't, they don't even allow him to reach us. They have a commissary cap ban. Because since he went to jail under the RICO Act and the type of money he made made off his books, we can't put we can't put a lot of money in his, in his commissary at the time. Yeah, the RICO so, say you can't make money off of your... Off of your fame yeah, and stuff, if you okay, stuff. okay, yeah. So with that, it, it puts a hole. So Dr. York, even if he's guilty, you can still say this is 100 percent the most dedicated teacher that's out there, and it's, and we have more than enough evidence to prove he's not guilty. I mean, like for example, I'm just gonna give you one example before we get off the phone. Um, like one example that I always looked at was okay, let's say he's guilty. Okay, let's say he got the herpes. Okay, let's say all these different things. If you count up. And I got this right here on the court document sitting in front of me, I was just reading. If you count up, based on what the alleged victim stated, this is exactly what they stated in court. If you count up every single alleged victim, and as many times they said they, because they didn't just say I was molested one time. Everybody was saying this was something going on two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten times a week that they were being molested this consistently. Up with every single alleged victim from two from 1993, because everybody started, the molestation started in 1993 and ended in 2001. If you count it up, that means Dr. Mel Cousin York in nine years uh, had sex 11,568 times, which is five times a day, every day, and none of these women are pregnant. And that was just unprotected sex. And then on top of that, not including the women who have children by him. So you mean to tell me, between writing 1,257 books, teaching every day, two, three, four, five hour classes, audio, videos, different coming out, buying hell up, because we just had the land, which is one property that the public thing. We owned apartment complexes all in that area because we was bringing all the Washington's down. That's how you got the transport minus charge, because we had big buses, like tour bus sizes, shifts. Remember, most of the Washington's up in New York. So we was bring everybody down on buses like every week. And Dr. York had bought apartment complexes. And he was putting us up like in the area. 
that's why Georgia was so threatened because the population in the community was only in the, in their um in that community put in the county was only six thousand people. And the Nuwafia Nation had brought down more than twelve thousand people in three years. So we was more deeper than the homes of government, that local government. So that's why they were so in fear of us. Because one with black power and they out in the country and they got K they had KKK out there. They used to come by be cursing and shit, driving up and down the road past the um the big Egyptian pylon. And so when you look at the conspiracy aspect of it, the conspiracy aspect holds so much more weight than the charge itself. Because the charge itself, that means he was having sex five times a day. Every day. With hereditary angiodemia, which is a disease that drops from your testosterone by forty percent. And then he was sixty fucking years old. Well, 58. So that means he's already an elderly man. Then he has a disease that drops his testosterone, and you mean to tell me that he's having that much sex? And then you don't have, you ain't find no pornos in his house. You ain't find no, um, no, no things that child molesters have that's usually, you don't find no weird ass teddy bears. You don't find no shit like that. At all. So it's just like, it is just, and then half the damn victim said it was a conspiracy. Then the government's all star witness claims it's a conspiracy. And if you look at her, if you look at her, what, what's, what's, the, what's the trademark for her? Her trademark is that she came to the community in 1993. She left the community in 2001. The child molestation started in 1993. The child molestation ended in 2001. Then, from 1993 to 2001, that was the only that was the only time where she was in charge of Dr. Malachi's New York's finances. Every other time in his life, he always paid his taxes. Well, his entire brother. life, he always paid his taxes, and now all of a sudden he don't pay with the time that you were charged. Well, so you have to understand shit gets so much deeper. So if we don't weigh it out, then you have to, people have to keep it neutral and just admit, look, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know I shit. And I, you know, that, that's why I was saying in that statement that if they free Dr. York, then he have an opportunity, not behind bars. Well, that's, that's not behind he bars. Says. He said they don't want to, he said they don't want to free me because then I can tell the whole truth. He said, I can't tell the whole truth on this phone. And the reason why is because every time he starts, like, building with us, like, really, really getting in and teaching, what they do is they either cut the lives, they, they give him, they punish him in prison, meaning that he can't, he can't write nobody for, like, two, three months. He can't call nobody for two, three, four, five months. The longest span it's ever been with him, I feel like, to communicate with his people has been seven, um, seven years. It was seven years he had no communication but ten people that he had picked, which was all family. That's why I was going to like say he wrote a whole book. I also, I know that man. I'm like, how the fuck, when the fuck did you do that? In the name, Polite tries to make it seem as if Dr. York exclusively named his daughter and exclusively gave him the title and the One, every single man in the Wapi Nation title is Masut. Because Masut doesn't mean prince. It just means a, a, like a royal citizen. <laughs> like Mr. Like Mr. would be a title of a respectable man in American culture. Mr. or Doctor. That's what Mr. means to into Nuwapi. So if you want to get into the word Prince, Prince would mean Yamar. Not Nasut. Nasut is like Mr. or like a wealthy man. Like a commonwealth man. Wealthy man would be Mr. or Doctor would be Nasut. So he, Dr. York, excuse you, name my daughter. Dr. York offers and extends the hand to anybody who acknowledges him as the spiritual father and say, hey, I want Dr. York to name my child uh, a really, really good, powerful Egyptian name. We have an order that you go through called an AEO, Ancient Egyptian Order, and then you can submit a request. It goes in, and then it goes through the chain of command that we have up to Dr. York. And he names your child. It was no exclusive shit. Like, this nigga be talking like this shit. Like, Dr. York grabbed him by his forehead and said, you are nigga, fuck out of here with that dumb shit. Then on his video, then he admitted, I asked myself, did you ever met Dr. York? Because I was about to run him down. Because a lot of niggas ain't never seen my father in clear view picture. His face, if you know Pop, you know Pop had a lot of tribal scars. So I was about to run him. I was about to hit him with that. He, had, he told the truth. He said, no, I ain't never met him in person. So I'm like, well, shit. Let me, let me just say this. The only thing I will ask right now to get a uh, understanding, are you going to be able to talk about Jacob any in the interview? I mean, if you ask, it depends. Ask me the question that you would ask now so I can see if it's worth it. Because there's certain things I will say and certain things I won't say for certain reasons. Well, I don't mind really, telling you the reasons. I just I don't really know how to uh formulate it. I did get a video that was on YouTube and I just played the audio on my channel too to say this is Jacob York and look what he's saying, you know. Well it's a well known fact. It's a well known fact that Jacob York is a part of the conspiracy. This is a well known fact. Reason being is because he claims Jacob York, they say, Okay, Jacob York had nothing to do with it. 
Jay confessed what he claims. He said, my brother, he says, I ain't had nothing to do with nothing. I had nothing to do with me, but da 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 So it's like, okay, if you had nothing to do with them, why do you have a butt to go with that? And then on top of that, the only Jacob we didn't want, I didn't point the finger at Jacob. Dr. York didn't point the finger at Jacob. We didn't even, Jacob York name didn't even come up in the case until the government's all-star witness recanted her statement. And when she recanted her statement, in the video, she went down to South Beach with Jacob York. And then other New Orleans that was in Florida at the time started to produce pictures. So then we had pictures of three sums. This is where the herpes and shit come from. Because remember, they said Dr. York had herpes. If we give you the benefit of the doubt that Dr. York had herpes, y'all had herpes, chlamydia, and gonorrhea. Dr. York didn't have that. That didn't come up on his thing. So if you want to say he had herpes, Dr. York was a polygamist. But remember, none of his wives have it. But if they want to say that, the, 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 the so-called witnesses, they have herpes, gonorrhea, and chlamydia. The pictures from South Beach, when they were down there, Dr. And down there in South Beach, we got pictures of Jacob York and another brother that was a part of one of the alleged victims and a sister in the middle. We got pictures of them in the club with a bunch of homosexuals. And then the government threw this piece of evidence out the damn courtroom. We had a diary from one of the victims talking about group sex and orgies and named the other alleged victims and what they were doing on the land. Remember, these people were teenagers. They had to promote it like they were children. These people were 15, 16, 17, 18. And we can play stupid if we want to, but we know 15-year-olds are getting pussy, period. So, and on our land or in the world, it don't make it no difference. Our land wasn't heaven. Our land was just a, a new a black community. So people, his children are going to be children. Teenagers are going to be teenagers. Just we, we kept the brothers and the sisters separate to, to keep people from just getting me or having hella children because everybody, you know, we're spending Dr. York money. So, you know, you know you, I'm paying for your kids when you have more kids. But, you know what I'm saying, but people, we try to keep the, the males in the, the, as far as the children and stuff. We try to keep them separate as much as we could. But, you know, children don't sneak out the house at night. The brothers on guard, they paying attention. This happens. And next thing you know, I don't play a story. I'll win yeah. some of them. That's that's, the that's that's cool. Look, bro, I, I appreciate you uh, feeling comfortable enough to talk to me and share the information and stuff. Um, I'd rather, you know, do the interview and... You know, be the more question is, though, the question will arise, though, is when do you want to do the interview? And I want to know the questions, the questions that you're going to ask me, I want to know them beforehand. But you didn't tell me that what, you, what, what you're asking about, J.P. Like I said, I, I just want to know if it's out of bounds. If it's out of bounds, then I know, shut the hell up, don't even go there. That's all I'm saying. I mean, right it's now. not, I wouldn't say it's, I wouldn't say it's out of bounds. I just don't, as far as getting real into Jacob York life, I'm not gonna get into. One thing I will release to the public is that Jacob York isn't my father's son. That's a misconstruction. Jacob York is not my father's son. Jacob York, Jacob has two older siblings. That's my father's children. His mother left the community and came back pregnant. So a lot of people don't know that. So I don't mind saying shit like that. That stuff like that's so actually you can look at Jacob and see he don't look shit like that. Okay, well that's cool. That so what I do is you say you say well, let me put some questions out there. And and send them to you, and then you will know where the where the thing going, and then what you comfortable with, you can say, well, I'm gonna deal with this, 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 and I don't want to deal with that, and we'll have a conversation, and we'll deal with my questions and whatever you feel like you need to. Do you have the ability to allow people to call in and ask questions? Yeah, but um. All right. So then what you should do is you should promote, make a video tonight or whenever and promote it, set a date for it and promote it as if it's coming up so people can call in. I don't know how people call in and ask the respectful questions. If they ask a disrespectful question, just hang up because you know what you know what I would consider disrespectful and respectful. And then the respectful questions I don't mind answering. See, people just ask questions respectfully. They would get all the answers they're looking for. But instead, they want to yell at us and attack us. So it's like, you're going to get to, it's going to turn into a war when you say, people come up, this is, this is, this is, so well, what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do is I create, what I do is I create an event group or whatever on Facebook and I pick certain people that I know I can trust and then I say their name and they question. And I'm going I'm to have exclusive people, just not anybody, but there'll be certain people, right? And that way... So I'm not there. The base of it is not there to answer no religious questions. I'm really, I'm focused on so if it's, if it's Israelite stuff, I'm not there to, I'm there to answer questions really dealing with, because very important of the whole video is going to be dealing with polite. I'll take some questions on my father, respectful, and I'll take some questions on Jacob, respectful. But other than that, the focus is on polite, because I'm putting the guns on him. 
Sure. Well, let's, let's just do line. this. Let's just do this then. Um, what's your time look like well, for us today? Because I need to go out. I ain't eight. I've been up doing stuff. So I need I'm to go. Today, today I'm, I, I study. That's what I do. So right now I'm studying, preparing for the debate with um with the, um with Captain Zoria. So just hit me up. Any time today, and then um, and we can work. You know what I mean? I'm just gonna be chilling. Yeah. What what we what we'll do is do a video today and set it for which would be best, Saturday or Sunday. Saturday or Sunday. Saturday. This Saturday or Sunday? Damn, that's yeah. cool. I thought you would make it like you got to the suspense, brother. Well, you know what I mean? you be like, listen, Yo. listen. Soon, if we do a video today and you say, people, I'm coming over to Israel doctrine at such and such time. It's gonna blow up. It's gonna be. I know that's what I'm saying. I don't mind doing that, but I'm saying I think we should push you for that. Let's do it next Tuesday, video. then. You next Tuesday, next that's Thursday. Cool. That, next see, Tuesday. That's, that's cool. Next yeah. Tuesday. Tuesday or Wednesday is cool. And so the video got time to circulate, and niggas could be ready. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I'm mean, you the man. Yeah. You the man. You remember the point of it is so I can get you some views, man. That's what I, so I really go out and mix with everybody for, so everybody can get a fair shot at teaching whatever. Because no matter what it is, or what you teach, spirituality or religion or science, it's about the upliftment of our people. That's the ultimate reality. Everything. So I don't really discriminate as far as that. I just attack the attackers or defend when we attack. But other than that, we don't got no issues. Yeah. I mean, just so I still look at you as my brother. Period. So the plan because, is this. Okay? The plan is this. I'm gonna go out and eat and everything. Then I'm gonna come back and we just gonna do a promo video. I'm gonna say, y'all, I got a special guest on right now and he wanna tell you something. Then you just say, people, I will, you know, we I will be on Israel Doctrine Tuesday and we're gonna set a time and then five minute video or whatever. And that's it. All right, that's a bet. That's, that's what it is. And it's, it's gonna blow the internet up. And everybody gonna be like, oh. What's going to happen with that? So let me go eat and stuff, and I'll be back, and we're going to make it happen. All right, cool. Peace. Much love and respect for hollering at me, bro. Definitely, man. Watch it. Peace.